Okay, welcome back. Now we're in part two of how to cook your chitlins. We've done the video on how to clean them. Now we're doing how to cook your chitlins. There's a lot of different things that people add to chitlins in order to cut down on the smell or the odor. And if you have a, a remedy that you're using for that and it's working for you, continue to use it. You know, but this is just a fast way that I've found that you can just cut down on that smell altogether and you don't have to worry about it now here is this is cilantro and I know that a lot of people may not know that this is one of the things that will definitely get rid of the odor of cooking chitlins in your home this is cilantro if you take the cilantro like about maybe about that much it's like four or five sprigs for uh, probably every 10 pounds of chitlins. If you'll take the cilantro and put it into your pot, you won't have that odor. Now, I put in cilantro and I put in onions. Now, you don't have to chop your onions. You can just use a whole onion if you want to. You can bundle this up with string and just drop it over in the pot if you choose to. Or you can spread it throughout and then you can just take it out if it does not disintegrate in the cooking. But what I'm going to do today and the way I'm going to do it is because I want to use the cilantro, but I don't want to have to stem it out. So what I'm going to do is, earlier this week when I was cleaning the chitlins, I just put some cilantro in this little container. And I put a little paper towel in so I could catch the moisture from the cilantro. So I washed it and everything. And I'm going to put it in this blender. I'm going to make a paste. And this is what I'm going to add to my chitlins. Now the chitlins are already on the stove cooking. And what you don't do is... You allow your chitlins to come up to a boil before you put anything in it. And then you take it back down to simmer and you let it simmer for the balance of the cooking, which is roughly about three to three and a half hours, maybe even four hours, depending on what your simmering point is on your stove. Now, I'm going to take this cilantro, and I want to show you this little gadget while I'm at it. This is $4 at Walmart. It's a mini processor, food processor, and this is the best little tool I could have in my house. And I get this every Christmas at Walmart. They're never more than $4. The last five, six Christmases that I know about, when you do the... Um, your Christmas shopping or when you do your uh, after Thanksgiving uh, Black Friday when you do that they're four dollars at Walmart and this is the best little gadget so I'm gonna take this cilantro and I'm just gonna put it inside of my uh, food processor and I'm going to make like a little paste and I'm gonna take that paste and that's what I'm going to add to my chitlins once the chitlins come to the boiling point now while they're coming up to the boiling point you're not gonna get a high content of smell so don't worry about it let them come up to the boiling point and then you're gonna reduce them to simmering so let's Now, this is going to mostly disintegrate anyway. I'm going to add a little water to this, and I really don't think that I, I've added enough water. So I'm going to step away and put a little bit more water in here. And I'm going to take this all the way down to paste form. And then I'm going to take and just put it over in my first boiling water along with my onions when I get ready to add my onions and that's going to help to take that smell out of your chitlins now what I'm going to be using to prepare my chitlins today is going to be I have here and I've used this processor for the same thing this is some minced up or I took it down just before mince part of uh, celery so I'm going to add some celery some salt 
you definitely want to have white pepper and white pepper is a little bit more expensive than your black pepper but you don't want those black specks all through your chitlins because people would think that you didn't clean them good so you want to use white pepper I'm going to use some garlic at the last hour of cooking I'm going to put in this garlic and of course I'm going to put in some red pepper flakes and these red pepper flakes really to me just make chitlins just taste awesome so I'm going to paste this up when I get it paste up and just before I get ready to put it into the chitlins I'm going to let you see this in paste form because it will take too long for me to just do it on the video so while the chitlins are coming up to the boiling point I'm going to just put all of my ingredients get my ingredients ready to go in and finish parading this up that's really what I'm going to do to it and I'll get back to you once those chitlins reach that first boiling I just wanted point. to come back and mention because I forgot to put it uh, on the table so you could see it at the very end once the water has boiled down I will add one cup of the chicken broth and just just to bring in that extra little mmm in the flavor of the chitlins and of course you know I don't leave home without this and this is my Lipton onion soup mix I'll also add this to the ingredients so I wanted to um, bring it in in the beginning so you'll know everything that you have to get in order to make your chitlins just taste oh so hey, good. I'm at the stove the chitlins have been cooking roughly about 15 minutes and what I did was I cut it down um, a little bit and you can get over in the pot, okay, because it's up to the boiling point. So I've turned them down so that they can simmer the rest of the way. Now I'm going to add the cilantro paste that I told you that I was making, and I put a little bit of water in it. Now, I know some people may ask, this will not affect the taste of your chitlins at all. Not at all. By the time it's cooked down, you won't even taste it. And I'm going to put the celery in now because I want this to disintegrate as well. So I'm putting it in the beginning parts of the cooking process. And of course, I'm going to add the onions. Now, you can just put your onions in whole. I have seen people just put them in whole because it's going to disintegrate and you won't see any of those onions by the time this finished cooking anyway. Okay, so I'm going to stir that. Alrighty, now this is going to cook like I told you for roughly three and a half to four hours and I'm going to let you see the cooking process every hour I will come back and let you see now look at my clock it is now 201 it's been cooking roughly about 15 good minutes just to bring it up to the boil now I am reducing it to simmer and it's going to simmer for the next three and a half hours so there it is hey we're and back, we'll back. and the chitlins are just simmering away. I want to show you the clock. It is now 3.01. I told you I'll get back every hour just to show you where we are. Okay, now they're cooking up real good. Okay. Not tender enough to do anything with, but they're cooking up real good. So at this point... I'm going to go ahead and add my salt. This is two tablespoons of salt because for every 10 pounds of chitlins, you should use one tablespoon of salt. I have 30 pounds of chitlins over in here. I only use two tablespoons of salt, and I'm going to salt up because, I mean, what may be enough salt for me may not be enough salt for you and vice versa. So you can salt up and just salt them to taste as you go along. Now, I'm also going to add at this point my white pepper. And I'm going to add my crushed red pepper. And I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to add my Lipton Onion Soup Mix because in this Lipton Onion Soup Mix I have um, some, I think it's roasted onions over in there. And I don't want them to be crunchy. I want, I want all of that to disintegrate. So I'm adding all of that at this point. And we're like one hour into cooking and they're still very tough. So, there we are. That's all I'm going to add at this point. 
and I will be back in the next hour to show you at what stage we are and at the next hour I'll probably take it out of this pot and put it into a smaller pot because then they shrink down just like grains so they would have shrunk enough for me to get them into a different pot that I can cook them in so and we're back I'll get and back. I transferred it into a smaller pot and as you can see from that big pot down to this I don't have a whole lot of chitlins. This was 30 pounds of chitlins and you can see what it's reduced down to. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and add my garlic and instead of adding the chicken broth, I told you I was going to add one cup of chicken broth, instead of adding that I'm just going to add a chicken bouillon cube. And it won't make your chitlins taste like chitlins, I'm sorry, like chicken. The only thing it'll do is just bring in that flavor. Okay, and I'm going to let these continue to cook. And I came back to you, if you can look at my clock, I came back to you at probably 04, which is probably two minutes past what time I said I was going to come back. But it's all good. So, now this is where we are and it's going to continue to cook. It is not done. They are not done done so they're going to continue to cook and we're going into our number three okay we're be right back. back the chitlins are done and the pot is off even though it's still boiling like that the pot is already turned off and you see I didn't get a whole lot for my 30 pounds but I did dish you up just a plate so you can see how it looks this is my chitlins and I did I cut them up with the fork and knife and then that is the coleslaw that I'm going to have with the chitlins. And I normally have coleslaw, chitlins, and spaghetti. That's the way we do it in Chicago. But I'm not in Chicago anymore. So here down here, I'm just going to have this. I only forked up this little bit because this is going on my Easter dinner table. So I just wanted to show you what they look like. And as always, thank you for watching Chris Cook for YouTube. Bye.